Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit. This is another episode of Show and Tell, a very belated episode of Show and Tell, mind you. Um, and I, today I want to share with you a, a pretty decent and clever way to keep your Kung Fu Bob artwork uh, safe, especially the ones from the 88 films. Uh, Blu-ray releases because of the size of them in particular. Now I've had a lot of compliments over the last uh, few months about my Kung Fu Bob wall of art which is fantastic, thank you very much. Um, I do have more space on the other side, hopefully I'll cut that in throughout the video here that you will see there is other posters around the studio here. Um, but I'm fast running out of space and because of that I had to kind of come up with some kind of clever idea to be able to show this artwork off, to be able to have it there on display um, regardless of whether it was in a frame or not uh, rather than keeping it folded up and creased in its blu-ray for the rest of its days. So before I get to the big reveal of how you can make your posters look pretty amazing when they're out of the box, I just wanted to share with you the actual frames that I get. Um, if you live in the UK, you're very lucky. Head on down to Pineland. That's it. One quid for these amazing uh, black frames. You can get them also in white and I do think in grey, but they're extremely lightweight, uh, very flexible. Of course it's not glass in there, it's a sheet of, of clear plastic, but that works because then when you're putting them up on a wall like mine's is a stud wall. Uh, obviously the more nails and things and hooks that I put in there is going to damage the actual wall. But because these frames are so lightweight, there is no chance of these coming down. I just thought I was scudding myself there and they might have all just fallen on me. But yes, one point for the actual frames. So if you get the chance to do that and you fill up your room uh, or your walls pretty damn quick like I am doing, um, the only other option I can suggest to make this work for you is to get yourself one of these. What is this they ask? This is an A3. Again, this is a UK based paper size. That is what the, the posters are printed on, on the Idiot, or in the Idiot uh, Blu-ray releases. Uh, it is an A3 poster and this is a 20 page A3 art file which I am going to take you through just to let you see what I usually use it for um, but what I'm going to be using it for whenever I fill the walls. Now what I usually keep these files for is my artwork and my cartoons. Um, they've been in here now for a number of years. They've been kept safe. They have been kept flat. The um, ink hasn't been affected. There's no light getting in to fade anything. And because of that I think it is a perfect buy because this was £10 or thereabouts, maybe £9. Um, and it has 20 clear pouches in here for anything that is sized A3 or below, I suppose. So I thought, well, why not just slip in a few posters? Because with the posters in here, this gives you the ability to see both sides of the artwork. Now, when these posters are in the frames, of course, you can see both sides of the artwork. You have got to pick one side to pop that in the frame and that's it. But while they're in here, you can get to gloat over both sides of the poster uh, without having to choose. And at the same time, it makes for a good coffee table book that you can show off to any friends that are popping around or any other fans of Hong Kong cinema or uh, Kung Fu Bob artwork, I suppose. But yes, they work a treat. These posters uh, just slide on in there not a problem there's no trimming needed there's no um, problems getting them in of course the longer they're in here they will tend to flatten out naturally and the creases will eventually go on them but for now this is for me the perfect way to store my kung fu bob 88 films artwork whenever i run out of wall space
So there we go folks, hopefully this will give you some inspiration uh, as to what to do with your posters if you don't have the wall space to hang them, um, if you run out of wall space as I've said, or you just can't uh, get your hands on the correct frames. Uh, if I remember, I will put a link or two um, below the video here in the description of where you can pick these up. I know I said I paid around £10 for it, but I, I'm, the more I think about it, I, I definitely did pay less, maybe £7 or £8. I think, personally, I think I picked these up in the works, UK based company, the works. Um, if it wasn't there, uh, I'm sure it was somewhere like TK Max, or not TK Max, Home Bargains or uh, B&M, something like that. It was definitely a discount store or a store with arts and crafts, uh, perhaps the range. I'll try and remember harder. Uh, it's been a wee while since I picked these up, but now uh, I've started doing this with the posters. I will be going out to buy more because I don't want to obviously take all my art out of there. <laughs> and leave it aside to get ruined. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, <laughs> if you haven't already, please head on over to invincibleasia.com where you can check out hundreds of reviews on as many of these movies that I can possibly write about. Uh, check it out on Instagram at invincibleasia and at movie misfit for bullet reviews and so much more. And of course, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos here on the channel, which include more video reviews, Blu-ray reviews, interviews, show and tells, and so much more. Oh, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon.